instead of Mojo, it would be O J O N, and it's like that. Don't let me know. That sounds horrible. Well, every time I see Mojo, I think of that elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that so? It's a cool thing. That sounds horrible. I'm gonna be one of those. Hashtag Fortnite World Cup. Right? Figure out O J O N. Just send that to us. See if it's a little elephant. You got the little two eyes, the little the little trunk, and you're done. Bomb, so rotation is possible on top of that in case something does drop out from underneath has the redeploy as well Let's see here if that's something that comes into play shots on players rotating this is exactly what he was waiting for a lot of whiffs but no big deal again not look at look at the amount of ammo too 988 small rounds you put it put an, uh, a minigun in Cosmic's hands he's still gonna be able to hold the trigger down the entire game assuming that it didn't overheat Right. That's right there. You saw a window edit the center of your screen for just a second. You got to be careful with those. Ooh, someone popped a supply drop. It's going to drop down. Put a rock in the supply drop. Oh, by the way, Caden in the feed taking dubs out. Big elimination there. That's got to be do wonders for your confidence. To be able to shut down someone like dubs, you're like, oh, man, I, I feel like I can make more happen in this game. Man, Cosmic's way up here, though. He is way up here. He's got the glider deploy, so he's completely fine. But, yeah, he's up there for sure. Top 15 is the next well, threshold. It's surprising me. No one, uh, no one's even contesting it. No one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right there. Uh, a couple shots back out in the storm wasn't enough to break it down just yet. And he's seeing that. Cosmic deciding to continue to apply pressure. Can't quite pull it off. Again, no big deal. Has the redeploy. I'm going to fly on past. Some shots come out from players on the move. Oh my gosh. Truly I thought punishing. he was fine. Just kidding. Cosmic beamed out of midair. That is so Ouch. rough. Don't forget the, the glider redeploy has a slower glide time. It does. So it makes you way more vulnerable in the sky. You want to wait until right before you hit down on honestly, the ground and then deploy it. Honestly, not, not even that. The, I think the, the play there was shadow bomb the way down, prevent yeah. ball damage, you just rotate through. Instead, he went for the, the redeploy. Obviously, hindsight's always 20 20. I was so literally going to say that. In, I mean, in the moment, that was the choice that he made. It ended up being not the right one, which is too bad. Uh, back to the lobby. I could do it. And actually, no more Q there. Q times are done. Don't forget that. Right. Shots. Zizzle goes down. Yeah. It finds one. It's always easier for us to be like a little more critical because, again, like we just have all of the information here in front of us. Plus, we're the ultimate gamers. So we I mean, know. I am not. You are for sure. Everyone not me. That. Everyone does know that. Uh, but yeah, we, sometimes we, we, we tend to be a little bit more critical. But, you know, we, we mean it with, the, of course, of the most love because we love Fortnite as much oh, as yeah. the player. Uh, let me say this, too. D Anybody that, that listens in on commentary, if you hear us talk about your gameplay and we say something that may be perceived as negative, let me tell you with 100% without a doubt, you are better than me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. That being said, I can see things that you can't right now. And because of that and my ability to commentate the game, I have the opportunity to say things about your mistakes. Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> I hear it from a lot of people every time I mess up and stream. It's, uh, it's all good. 14 players left. Trick FN pushing forward. I did see the man, the myth, the legend, yogurt fart in this game as well. So you got to keep your eyes out for that. Big set of the plays names. potential. The names. Here we go. Yep. Yogurt fart action. There you the go. Finds an elim elimination over on Tasky. And we've been in top 15, right? So now we have another round of placement points. This is where going from top 15 to top five. Ooh. That error margin, a much bigger. Ben, you're going to pick up here by Trick. Back a second back. one over on Face Maxi. Wow. Let's go, Trick set of eliminations there. Trick has a chance to keep this going a little bit longer if he wants to. Ops not to, but he is positioned against that mountain edge. Quick window edit and shots before that player can use the launch pad and try and get the heck out of there. Trick moving forward, gonna box in and uh, start the rotation. Still not in the safe zone. Yeah. Keep moving. You notice here saving materials just a little bit, not walling off because he knows he's on the ultimate low ground. Oh no, Lupo, the side of the mountain. It's Father Mountain. Look, Trick has to go right now. Cadden is going to do his crank 90s. Brother. Yeah, Don't you worry. just got to go up right oh. now. And look, oh. Actually, it's fine. Trick caught a player on rotation. Stretch uh. is gone. The edge of the storm here. And he's actually. Where do we go from here? Where are we going from here? here? Second, we'll find out in three seconds. Six players left. We're looking at the last possible rotation for a lot of people here. Player peeking down from above. Maybe a chance to take oh, shots. We're going to the northwest. He's actually yeah, totally he's gonna be fine. fine. Big luck there for Trick. Six, three builds. Sorry. 
down to the last second shot. Oh! Colorful from the top 10. There was also a launch pad. Did he get it? He did not. But at this point, this late, probably not a big deal. Three players left. Shiga, Caden takes shots, sandwiched between two. Trick got to drop down and apply pressure. Says, Shiga, you can wait on the ultimate high ground. I'm going to pick up this elimination, the H. All damage. You see that? Sh Shiga just jumped right on in. I he probably ran out of builds. <laughs> Listen, you know, at the end of the day. slid down the edge of the mountain. That's what probably would have been the better play there. But at the end of the day, he lands the ultimate trick shot. Back uh, over to Sundown in uh, the studio. Sundown, what you got for us, friend? Uh, uh, what I don't have is bad jokes like that because he didn't even fire a shot. So well done from Trick there to ride that one out. Good victory, Royale. I'm here with Monster D. We're going to take a look at some of the gameplay that happened in that last block real quick. Let me hop on up here and let's uh, let's break these plays down. Yeah, we got a lot going on here and the players to look out for E11 Graska. These E11 boys have been on a rampage and we just want to highlight how much of a rampage these guys have been just going on. Graska in specific here, you'll see a nice string of elims kind of coming out of him using shadow bombs is keeping it super technique and super textbook and i just want to talk about his mentality because i follow him on social media he is the type of player that wants to improve week after week and that's what we've seen from his early placements around the 60th and we've seen as, as high as 14th with this duo daxer so they are just out of contention anyone in that upper top 20th kind of bracket as either a solo or a duo team have what it takes to kind of seal the deal here in these final moments and this is just a solo competition take a look here but remember there uh, he's going to be another player to look out for for next week as well so keep your eyes on them as again just wrapping things up you saw just a little bit of trick in the previous game he wrapped up the likes of him and look at this 50 points right trick was in about 55 this win right here puts him back up that's a four point swing and that puts him at about 54 last we saw so Graska's in a running now another look kez same thing same same situation same deal here ga kez putting on a show here showing that the combat follow-up just swift no time for hesitation the reaction speeds are clean the mechanical skill is here so not just european uh, you know, players showing up here at Sundown. It's NA as well. NA East here making a big run throughout the evening here. And, and just super clean. Super clean from Kez. Indeed, not just Europe who has put on a show. Every single one of our regions so far have been absurdly close. Like, we quite literally haven't seen a week like this so far. We are going to get back into the very final matches. NA East is so absurdly close. I cannot wait to see who takes away one of those last six spots. But we're going to go right on over back to Lupo and Zeke. Thank you, Sundown. I appreciate you. And I do appreciate every region. Europe, NA East, NA West, Oceania, Asia, Brazil. Mm. Y'all some gamers. Keep that up. Don't change. All right. A lot of people working like crazy to try and qualify for the Fortnite World Cup in New York City. Those finals are going to be insane, by the way. Look forward to that. And let me just say, too, uh, going through this, I can't think of anything uh, in my career thus far that uh, I've put more time and energy into than casting Fortnite events. Mm. Like, the amount of dedication from everybody on the production team to go into this, I, I, I hope that we have all done uh, what they would consider an excellent job thus far, because this has just been a it's been a blast, and I, and I hope we're putting on a, a we're representing the players that we have a chance to commentate over uh, accurately. I hope they all feel the same way about what we've done thus far. Eight spades here on your screen, top middle there. Ape taking a chance to just pop a little bit of a mini. Got a metal tunnel underneath with another player down below. A quick stink toss, pressure being applied. He's flying there. Symphony top of your screen, but Baldy, player we've seen a number of times. The flint knock in hand. Ooh. The All right. Epic AR and a rare combat shotgun. This is he, the loadout you want. Oh, yeah. This is, this is big value. Because he has two campfires, six minis. He's got the turret in case he gets ultimate high ground. And he needs uh, something to, to just connect back for 1,000 HP. It's a big value right there. Typically, typically, I say, uh, very rarely do we see players utilize the, uh, we'll say the pew-pew mechanic of the turret. Oh, right sure. there, shots. High dive goes down, a big pickup. First elimination for Baldy, 49 points. But yeah, the loadout is is excellent right now. 
It kind of covers everything that he's going to need in, in any given moment right now. Poach from Liquid. Smack to the bottom of your screen. A lot of players that have been in the top 10 multiple times popping up right now. Air cool. Spades all the way at the ultimate high ground. 38 players remaining. We'll climb our way all the way back to the top. The launch pad out. Good rotation right now. The, late, the later you get into a game, the less value a launch pad has because unless you're going to ramp up above and use it with horizontal, the horizontal trajectory, which, don't get me wrong, is very, very good. But if you're trying to go for verticality, which, by the way, a player lands in the same box, a quick trap, it's not going to go down, but Zlem still pays the price for trying to challenge spades for ultimate high ground. Might not be the last one either. Oh, my gosh. The number of players flying around above is insane. Spades. Can he follow through? Can indeed. K-Dude goes down as a launch pad again. Sorry, that got ridiculous. But the late game launch pads, uh, they lose value because the more time you spend in the air, the more opportunities other players have to take shots at you as the storm starts to close. Spades sharing the wall with another player. You gotta be careful. Gotta box up and keep on rolling. You could be cheeky with the, the launch pads too. Utilizing that ramp just give you like that forward momentum instead. All right, I, I, I propose a challenge to anybody out there. Ooh. You set up a launch pad with the angle that shoots an opponent player into a box filled with your own traps. I will, I will PayPal you fifty dollars because that would be ridiculous. There you Imagine go. just, tri just whoosh, right in, <laughs> like they go flying, they yeah. hold forward, and they're like, wait, oh, that's a box. Oh, last no. second. That was... barely made it in. Three HP. <sighs> Got to stay just ahead of the storm. Anyone could just breathe in his direction. This is this is one of those moments oh, where no. you're thinking, okay. I need I need to find a spot that or I can sit in. and watch for for an elim. This might be the one. The campfire is what gives it away right now. Spades deciding to push forward, rotate around to the bottom. A shot behind the corner edit. Not enough, and he finds them down underneath. <sighs> Big attempt from Spades. Three seconds to squeak it in. 50 points right now for Spades. We're in the top 25 now. Hornet all the way in the ultimate high ground, it looks like. Took it with a baller, which you don't see too often. Kind of a risky play, unless uh, you have something like a shadow bomb, which Hornet does have. Drop it down, stand inside the safe zone. Takes a lot of ticks to the storm, and that's the time for a slurp. Yeah. Big value slurp. Big value slurp. But don't forget, it does take quite a while. It's one HP a second. He's got a long time before he's back in fighting condition. Someone does go for the high ground challenge. Mm. You have a player up above, and you still have one falling in, which you, you can hear that. Yeah. I think that's what the player. So he, this player above Hornet knows that Hornet's down below. But like you said, he heard the glider redeploy. It's a very distinct sound. So he's probably just trying to keep himself safe. Hornet's trying to get aggressive here. He wants this elimination. Okay. Big play. All right. Smart play there. That's good. That, at that point, he was getting beamed, be shot at from above. He was potentially challenging a player that he was not going to be able to beat. Player behind gets caught in their own edit. Goes for the try, the pyramid play, and can't get Hornet. Instead, Gal pays the price themselves. Get up that first elimination. 14 players left from the top 15 now for that second set of placements. Oh, God. Inside a box. Finds a player inside. CWV. Goes down, one more push rotation on the outside. Poach in your uh, feed, eliminated as well. Oh, there's Inside. players all around Lupo. Right underneath another player. They're holding it down. Trying to reset the ramp underneath. Can't get it three times. Gonna have to melee their way through. Oh. A very tense situation here. Smacked in your feed, picking up an Elim. We're down to the top nine. Hornet on 36. Oh my God! HP. Three Elims now for Hornet. A big reactive shot there to stay oh. in this game. A chance for minis, has two oh. ARs. Not a big deal there, but the t the combat shotgun gonna come in big late game, looking for headshots, looking for angles from underneath. Hornet pushing forward, 66 builds left. Severe, the ultimate high ground. Players sandwiched in the middle. You hate to see somebody go down and not make it to the top five, but here it is as the last set of placement points go out for everybody left alive. Severe, Shadow, Mick Cool, Midas, and Hornet, the ultimate low ground. Trying to pop a med kit there. Gonna, going to be able to get it off. Going to have to push through this wall. But Stay inside. Last second. That might be enough. Coming in from underneath, you see Shadow in the ultimate high ground, popping those minis. There's a natural campfire. He could, he could hit it real quick. He doesn't oh, need okay. No Just chance you. for a take. But he finds Shadow and gets the elimination. The victory <laughs> royale. And a cool little dance move to top it off. Well played, Hornet. That's the dance I know how to do, sort of. Bro, that was great. So much happened like a lot happened in the last second like technical skill wise game sense wise knowing how to like get players to do what you want them to do on its heads up flick while rotating in the last second to stay alive yes was huge against smacked and that was insane literally jumped over his head boom. 180 flicked him made it made his way the rest of the way in well played there and you got to think too that's going to affect smacks 
uh, potential exactly. leaderboard setup, exactly. right? Maybe that shuts him down, and maybe that could have been his last game. We don't know how that's going to affect the standings until we take a look later on. Don't forget, there's only the six spots here. Listen, at, <laughs> at least Golden that Boy was is, insane. At least Golden Boy is not here to call him smoke. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> JDW in your feed, picking off Complexity's Macwood. Mm. 46 players now. That's a very early elimination for uh, the player from Complexity. Sentinels, Animal, zero eliminations, 63 builds. This some minis, is... some shadow. We're seeing, we're, we're starting to see a trend. Let me, let me just put this out there and you let me know if you agree or not. All right. Consistency across the board for loadouts is typically combat shotgun, mm -hmm. an AR of some sort. Right. One or two mobility items and a heal. And it, yes. if, it's not, if it's not two mobility items, it's only one, I would say potentially two heals. And then the last utility slot, you could, if it's not two heals, you could say is a heavy sniper or a flint knock. Yes, so typically like we're every seeing single loadout. It pretty much exactly that. So it's either gonna be um, two, like let's say it's like a rift, some kind of mobility, two heals. Sometimes we see people, even if they're, if they're lucky to find them along the game, you, we've seen people with like six half shields, right? Oh, two yeah. whole slots dedicated to three half shields a piece. And that's, yeah, then you're like, oh, this guy just wants to fight the now, whole time. I, I want to make a point, too, so that it's not misconstrued what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that, that everyone runs the exact same thing all the time because it's the only thing to run. I'm saying people are running the same consistent builds because consistency is huge in a BR game. And if you have a loadout that is consistently showing top performance, players are going to favor it. That's something to take note of if you're trying to step your own game up. Maybe you're not going to make this World Cup, but I guarantee you there's going to be events from Epic for Fortnite in the future. This, this ain't the end, believe me. And, and so learning those kind of setups and watching how the meta changes as, as the game evolves. I mean, we're, we're getting updates that change things weekly. Mm -hmm. So you have players every single time that they're, and this has been, the, at this point, y'all, if you have not accepted that that is Fortnite, you need to just accept that that's Fortnite. Now let's just let's all finally settle and say yes. It is a game that includes an evolution of meta constantly, which means the players are constantly